What's up guys, welcome back to another video where today we will be making an entire game then releasing it to the public uh, for the public to play this group will be a supermarket role play uh, there is a group however you only have to join it in order to actually work there and it says also it will have also ranking so what it will be is you level up and you get ranked up in the game there will be some fiery ranks alrighty so this will be probably a um what's it called series that's the word i was looking for uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off uh what should we start off doing we're gonna start off doing some leader stats so in service group service we're just gonna add a folder in that folder leader stats then add a script name that cache because there will be an in-game currency and what we're going to do is we're going to go local stat name equals cache and then we're going to do local ts equals game get service data store service local ds1 equals uh, ds get data store okay. there we go ok now we're going to go game.players Oh, player added net function player and then what we're going to do is we're going to go local instance dot new oh wait no never mind local stat one equals instance dot new in the quotation marks pool value sorry about how strong I'm going guys I have just woken up and I did not sleep very well ok so stat one wait no I'm doing this wrong Data dot name equals local stat one. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot we actually need to make the folder for the leader stats. So now we do the stat itself. Instance dot new value. No, it's not pool value int value leave alright what we're now going to do is stat one dot name equals stat to name now here's where it gets a bit difficult because it's been a while since I last wrote to the data store so what we're going to do is we're going to do stat one dot value equals what we're going to do is we're going to just do local start amount equals 100 that means everyone will start with a hundred of our currency local prefix equals pounds because we're British okay equals uh, ds1 dot get a 
decent. Player. So leader dot parent equals player equals player stat one dot parent equals leader. So strictly speaking, this should work unless I've completely fucked it again, which wouldn't be surprising. Uh no, it works. So we're just gonna check the output. Oh yeah, data source won't work, will it? Okay. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go file publish as create new game. Uh same go. Work as a supermarket. Uh, there we go, create. It will be available for tablet and phone users. Um, nice like that. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go in home. Wait, no, say so what? I'm going to reload the game because I accidentally published it to myself. Because uh, I forgot to put the group under it. Right, here we go. So, game settings, security, allow HTTPS, and enable studio access to API services. So, press play, and we're just gonna check the output log. And as you see, no errors. So, what we're now going to do is that's that data store done. We are now going to work, so for some of these I am going to have to watch YouTube tutorials because I don't know how to make a blimmin' ranking bot. And if I did I'd be surprised and I can't be asked to spend hours trying to work it out. So I'll be watching some YouTube tutorials. Uh, the YouTube tutorials I do watch I'll put in the comments. Uh, but this is only episode one, so we're doing what we can with scripts and probably GUI. So, what we want is we now want to make the game R6. So, game settings, avatar. In my opinion, R6 is way better than R15. I hate R15 with a passion. So what we're now going to do is we need to add some teams. So team, uh, management, make that red. Sings goes staff, make that orange, good old Sings orange. And then what we're going to do is customer. And we're just going to make that cyan. Now, the same square staff and management, we are going to d turn off auto assignable. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go start a GUI, screen GUI. We're now going to add loading, loading screen. We're not going to script the loading screen yet because it is a pain to script. We're going to enable G ignore GUI inset. So what this does is if we press play real quick, is what it does is it just brings it up, whereas normal GUI would be down to about the leader stats height. So it's just a fancy thing to add. So now we're going to name this. 
BKG size one zero one zero. I really struggled to do that. I think I'm a bit too tired for this, but oh well. We're just going to change the background color, add a text label, and we're just going to put loading, not leading, loading. Text color three will be white, bold, and we're going to do Fudoka one. Uh, background color is one. Text scaled, set that to true. And size will be one zero point two zero. And now we're just gonna bring that down to about point four. That looks roughly the middle. And then we're just gonna set this to loading. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that out bold. Well, duplicate it first. We're gonna name the new duplicate tip. And we're just going to put that Highway Gothic. Set that to point 0.1. Uh, set the position to point 0.6. You know what? That's still too big. 0 0.5. There we go. And then what we're going to do is just set the text to tips. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the loading bar. So we in this frame, we are going to need to add another frame. Add a UI corner. Set that to 1, 0. Then name this LBKG for loading background. And we're going to set this to 0 0.8, 0, 0, 0, no, 0 0.80, no, 0.80, 0, 0.2, no, that's still too big, 0.1, eh, it'll do. So what we're now going to do is, you want the same colour, however you can either make it lighter or a bit darker. I'm making it a bit darker because I do like dark colours. So what we're now going to do is set the position to 0 0.1, 0 0.8. There we go. And then in the loading background, duplicate it. Name that LFBKG, loading for background. Wait, no, name that loading for LFG for loading foreground. There we go. And then position, that'll be zero. Because it hasn't loaded yet. Just, mm, I just want to test something real quick. Uh, set that to let's do change quality. Okay, what we're gonna have to do is set the index to two. Or is it zero? No, so that's one on the. Let's be why it wasn't even on the right bit. Okay, so what we're now gonna do is set the index to two. Set this to one. I think anyways, to be honest, I'm not too sure. And everyone's did index, uh, selection order, layout order, here we go, one, two, maybe this needs to be three, no, I don't know, so we'll come back to that later. We're now going to set the size, or position first. Reset that to zero, 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 zero. Size. Is it uh, one zero on the second one? And then we're just going to set that to 0. point as many notes as you can. 
Oh, you don't actually 